right, Shalom Wam Israel, Shalom Wam Shalom Wam. First and foremost, I'd like give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Mashiach, Womalak Yahushai. It is to say Yahweh, being named the Heavenly Father, who the world will call God, and the name of His only begotten Son, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. It's Brother Kasadi from WFR Jersey Philly. And this is a little bit of a different video, but, um, you know, from, from myself, I should say, you know, WFI in transit. But um, nevertheless, uh, most are willing, right? Those that are watching this video, viewing this truth, it's very important that you remember the first works and do them, right? The scriptures say in Revelation chapter two and verse five, right? We gotta remember from where we fell and repent and do the first works or else Yahweh by Hashem Shai will come into us swiftly and remove our candlestick. When you go to the book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 27, it shows you that the candlestick is uh, your spirit. So the Lord can remove your spirit from you. And I was talking to brothers yesterday. I mean, the Most High can literally take your spirit and, and send you back, send your, you know, take your spirit and send your body down to the ground. You understand? And then you're dead. The Lord can literally kill you for playing around with uh, the work you're supposed to be doing, the zeal, the love, the admiration you're supposed to be having for the Most High, for His children, right, and for this truth. Don't take this thing for granted. My brother always tells us, you know, we, we only got one one chance, one chance to push this word at the maximum level that we possibly can. You only got one chance to bring forth those arms. You only have one chance to do all you can do as you're living in this life right now. You understand? So now is not the time to drift off and go back in the world and worry about the things of the world because we know the Most High called us out of the world. So why should we entertain or intertwine ourselves back with the same corruption that the Most High allowed us to escape from? Like I tell you in the book of Second Peter, chapter 2 and verse 18 on down. This world, it seduces us through the lust thereof, through the idolatry, right? Through the deceivableness. Do you understand? It, it tries to allure us back into the things of this world like a like a damn uh, a, a nest or a trap. You understand? That's why the that's why the spiritual demon Satan, or really I should say <clears throat> America, I really put it like that. America is personified as a woman. When you read the book of Revelation, the 17th and 18th chapters, you understand? Pre specifically the 18th chapter, being personified as a woman, or so like the 17th chapter, um, sitting upon that scarlet colored beast, because as a woman tries to seduce and, you know, um, allure and attract a man, she uses different tactics, right? Women have different tactics to get a man. She might put on this sweet smelling odor. You understand? She may put on some seductive clothing, right? Or, or, or I mean, these are the ways of the world, right? She may, and now even with a even with a woman that's claiming to be in the truth, she may s seduce a brother that's in the truth by putting on uh, again some uh, a sweet smelling odor, uh, some type of fragrance. She may have a her hair wrap on. Should have her hair wrap on. She may even have the hair wrap on and then have some of her hair going out, you know, on the side of her, uh, or coming out the hair wrap with the little with the little baby hairs. She may do that. Brothers know. She may have, you know, uh, I'm not trying to get in, in detail, but you understand how a woman could try to seduce a man, right? If you're a brother watching this, or even if you're a woman watching this, you know how those things work. And that's the same way of America. America does that. America does that every single day. Every day. Different ways to, to distract you. Different ways to try to get to lure you in and get you to go off against, against the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So in these last days, we got to make sure that we, um, we're being vigilant, circumspect. When we say keep watch, it's not just keeping watch over the prophecies, as of course you should be doing. But you also want to keep watch over your spirit. You want to make sure you don't fall into temptation. You want to make sure that you fight in that fight that Paul was talking about in the book of 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter, in the 12th verse. That good fight of faith. 
You understand? Because this this is all about what you believe in. Do you believe in your how about Shemel Shai? Okay, if you believe in him, then how are you going to show the Most High in the name of his son that you believe in him? Or do you believe in the things of this world? And a man shall be known by his fruit. So you'll know if a man believes in his world if he's still trying to make it in this society. He's still trying to get that big break. He's still trying to damn... And he's going back in the world. Every time you see the brother, he's just in the world. So like, yeah. Phone kind of cut off. But yeah, like I was mentioning, every time you see the brother, he's just back in the world. So you want to be mindful. You don't You don't want that to be you. All right? You don't want that to be you. The most I called you in the truth. You want to you wanna remember the first works. Remember the times when you first was in this truth. You were zealous. You was on fire. You, you wanted to you wanted to watch breakdown videos all day and night. You always had your earphones in. You walking around. You might have been at work. Might have been at work listening to breakdown videos. Get home listening to breakdown videos. Taking notes. Making videos. If you're if you know if that was that was a thing you might have been doing. You always had a new pack of highlighters. What happened to buying the new highlighters? And highlighting your Bible. Gotta get back to that. You understand? When these last days in the Lord, the most I said in Job, the 33rd chapter and the 14th verse, he speak of once, yet twice, yet man perceiving not. So the Lord's not gonna keep giving you these infinite chances to get right and serve him in these last days. Like I mentioned already, and I always gonna mention most I willing, either you in this thing or you out this thing. There's no in between. Either you serve your Habash Shai or you serve the spiritual demon Satan. You understand? Either you in this thing or you out this thing. Either you with the most high or you against him. Either you zealous and you on fire. Because the Lord said in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 4 that you've you've left your first love. Now you now wisdom is supposed to be your first wife. It's supposed to be joined to her. But now you're worrying about these different women that's out here trying to get three wives and you didn't even take care of your first wife. Your true wife. Damn near putting her away. Going off. I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, just in my mind to do so. So most I willing, you know, brothers and sisters continue to lock in and endure, man. We in these last days and all hell can break loose at any given moment, any given time. And we want to bring you know, we, we want to make sure that we stay in, in the spirit as much as possible. Satan uh, is constantly, constantly trying to sift us out, constantly trying to bring us back into this world. You got to continue to fight. With that, Kwame Asherala, stay in the spirit, Asherala, Lord willing, you endure, keep watch. By Shema Shagum, like it was shy. Kwame Asherala, Shalom.